Interesting. Huh? So, hello, and welcome back to the Witcher Free Wild Hunt. You just saw me um, upgrade, well, my two swords because I got some new ones. And I dismantled some things and sold some things. And now we're going to do a quest called An Eye for an Eye. We've got to go meet Roach, our first quest with him. But what is this? What is this? Where are you scurrying to, uh -oh. Roach? Let's see you pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every. I'm a ghost. Or well, that was a ghost. A empire, like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next. Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're not your concern. Back to your post. Hmm. Regards from Siggy Rootman. Ah. Well, thank you, Siggy. Is this because of the recent um? Major, major escape. I wonder. Now I'm not sure what this is about, but I think it might have to do with this. I could be wrong, though. No. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. What do you do here, Hunt Squiretel? Your chest, right? Who cares about the square tell anymore? We've already heard this, but it wasn't grayed out. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. It's remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the second Temerian army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. I've already heard this as well, so for some reason it hasn't grayed out the options even though we've already heard them. Hmm. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm hmm It's Vess. Vess. There's a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the black ones at Mulberdale. She'll be killed. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Don't trust Vess anymore. Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, oh, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge, and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Well, I'll see you in about one million years, because that'll probably never happen. Alright, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. 
We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Is that a compliment? Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me and Velen beneath the hanged man's tree. It's just a Velen, alright. It's a way away, isn't it? Slightly. Back to where our journey started in Velen. Oh, what a lovely view. Just enjoying the sights, are we, Roach? It's the village below. Black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of this. Well, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer over there near the. Back to the black ones! Vess! Circa. Looks like we're too late. Kill. Oh, save Vess. Follow me. Save Vess. We must save her. I can't lose another. You're supposed to wait for me to get down here before attacking her. Oh, what was that? Holy shit, did that do like more than half health? What the fuck? The level 11. That's retarded. She's getting close to death. Not your lucky day. Oh, that was close. Even I almost died then. God damn it, Vess. Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up, if you wise up. Move out! Ren. Uh-oh. Got yourselves a prisoner. We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. He haven't returned to his camp and report. Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach is right. Besides killing a defenseless. What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. <laughs> Morentai, Nes Dirmad Ava. Go before I change my mind. Ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help? You know where to find me. Was that it? That was the shortest quest in all of the Witcher games. That was it. That was it. That was like, not even 10 minutes. Give me all the loot. Just 
Jesus Christ. Getting some armor. I wonder if it's any better. I doubt it. But it might be. Level 22. Wild Hunt Warrior Axe. Huh. The Knight's Gauntlets are better. We've got some... <laughs> look like huge mittens. Hmm. Alright, what to do next? Okay, so we're back in Novograd to do a deadly plot. We've got to meet Dijkstra at the Passive Flora. Passive Flora. Is it in here? Ah! Ooh. <laughs> okay then. Um, where's Dijkstra? White Wolf! Welcome to the Passive Flora! No sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings, uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Who? Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. Ah, this way. secret door again. Apparently, everyone has a secret door. Which your girl? Up you go. Boss has been waiting. You will now meet the mob, mob boss. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many have liked to do it, so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falker planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? As far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovitz. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Thought about what you said. That Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovitz was alive. Better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand, I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Roach? What the it's fuck? Intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? I'm not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free... Team. There we go again with that. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is to marry his ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him, support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman. Itinerant cobbler. That's his cover. 
He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. If a man there who should know more calls himself Gregor. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redanian's king? Ah, uh, you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Fine, I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. I won't. Remember, Everyone's going to die. The future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. <laughs> See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Everyone's counting on me. No one apart from Madame Serena. Redovid V. De Stern. By that I mean Redovid the Fifth. A deadly plot. Can I loot these? I can. <laughs> Anything good in any of them? Some water. I mean, it may not seem like much, but it could help. It could help. So apparently he's near the border. Is this him? Gregor. Looking for Gregor. You found him? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Where your helmet gone? Let's take a walk. Your helmet's gone. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler. And now, you, and now your helmet's back. What was their crime? One on the right, a Pella from a village nearby. Gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hang for such offences? Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king. Wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Shut up, dog! Take it to our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday. Reported an abandoned cart a ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Yes. Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. Alright. Good luck. Oh, all right Let's then. See. All right, bye. Hmm. Find the shoemaker's wagon. I could I can sail there. To death on three pounds of Bloody hell, that sun, holy shit. Blinded me. Well, turns out, um, the shortest sail ever. Alright. Shoemaker's wagon is somewhere in here. Is that it? Probably. Hmm. Cart doesn't look damaged. Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. A deadly plot. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, get away. One hit, one kill. 
And then the game's, like, completely freezing. Lovely. Ow. You're still slightly tough. Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out. Dragged off. A shoe. A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Some more shoes. Oh yeah, <laughs> because it's a shoe. I was like, who wears more than two, like one pair of shoe? <laughs> a shoemaker, <laughs> you know, because he's got loads of shoes in his cart, obviously. A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Don't tell me it's a werewolf. I won't be fucking happy if it's a werewolf. It's a fucking werewolf. Oh no, it's... What? What? I thought it was Bart for a second then. Greetings. Away go with you go. You did pick me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes has wound up here. Here, you did grow. Like the mushroom. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no wrong. Oh, anger gets Og and Pog. Og and Pog? Those your friends? Finder Inger the Great, Og Pog. Human finder on big suited cart. Suited big like so. Mm -hmm. What did they do to this human? Og Pog man's cover to take. They're over. Do you eat them? Nah, no. Body man's. Stringy man's. Blah. Oh, he make man suited make. Frog, pog and rog suited make. You even need shoes? Suited on whom is it? Suited once og, pog and rog. Big lords trollers be. Like whom is it? So long. Huh. Find the tra the tr the trolls trolls cave. Hmm. Shujajish. Shujajish. Find the shoemaker. Yeah, I knew he wasn't dead. Look at the plowing bastard, naught but skin and bones. Well, General Trolls, our time I travelled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Tell a no go. Tell a shit. Sit us down. Tell a suck cock shoes his mate. I can see you've made friends, but Tala needs to come with me. Blood nowhere Tala go. Tala shoes his mix. 
but I need him. Can us here stay? You chooses dot. Og chooses dot not. Rug dot not. Pug dot not. <laughs> Kala chooses make. Kala go. Now let's all stay calm. Tower will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll uh, get some leather for your shoes. Uh -uh. Listen to Geralt. He's telling the plowing truth. <laughs> Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is pock for? And run for two pairs for each of you now, fricks. Mm. of go, but back come must. No, you buggers were good mates. Sit tight, be back in a bit. What we oh, okay, then. Children are trolls, and vice versa. Besides, butchers are sterile. Ah. Not changed a bit. Still tart as rotten rhubarb. Just happened to be passing through. Wow, all right. Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, mean they've not forgot me. That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Geralt. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? They tell you? Clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details though. Maybe you'd be willing. Just your uh -oh. gratitude. Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. <sighs> be that way. How'd you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. You saying the black ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Brought fuck all as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. You'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy, and you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, oh, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who takes an interest in cobblers? No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul. The blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mostly. Sometimes they say something interesting. Mike. That's all I'm willing to say. Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mates sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. <laughs> what? Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. How'd you become a cobbler? Pick the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shark cover. Pissed too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. It's all about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain. One in the same yard all the time. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobble together this fancy rolling stall. Lovely. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed, blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach, and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate. I plow in calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. 
but I'm not on my own. So, blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right, gotcha. So long, Toller, and good luck. Oh, I can bloody use it. Radovid's one crafty ore with a clap. But we'll figure a way round that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. Alright, deadly plot. Deadly plot completed, I guess. We get another quest, do we? To continue? Or not? Apparently not. Maybe we get like a letter at some point, I don't know. Or maybe the quest will continue at some other point. So yeah, that's where I'm going to end the video. It's been a bit of a short one because these two quests have been very short. They're not the best quests. I feel like they're setting up for something bigger, maybe for a couple more bigger quests. They seem like they're, they're going to be like a chain of quests um, involving, you know, assassinating the king and something going on with Vess. Um, so thank you for watching and goodbye.